Ben! 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 Are you all right? Yes. Ben's not here. No. Looks like we didn't all make it. I only hope... Yes, traitors walk amongst us. Traitors plot to end us. Traitors would have you believe their cause is noble. They wear many masks. They may look like your friends. They may even look like your most loyal servants. This, this is the face of a traitor. Swift. Major Swift, a respected member of the army and sworn servant of the kingdom has plotted against us all. He was apprehended attempting to turn loyal soldiers against us and is thus charged with espionage, treason, and conspiracy. <gasps> Yet there are still others darkening our land with their betrayal. We shall hunt these traitors down, wherever they may be, and they shall suffer the same fate as Major Swift the fate of all enemies of the crown! He has to be stopped. No matter what it takes, he has to be... Come on, we need to tell the others. Wish I looked half as good as you. It's my favorite citizen. How you doing? I hope to see you again soon. You always do the right thing, don't you? Dad's always telling me to do that. Don't recall ever seeing that before, though I am drunk most days. What nice club. You look lovely. What a great outfit. The king has gone quite insane. How could he do that?
Ben told us what happened. Swift was a good friend. He died like a true soldier. Ha! <laughs> a true soldier? Let's not pretend there was anything noble about the way he died. He was tortured, humiliated, and murdered. And he didn't give Logan anything, or we'd be dead now. I call that noble. It was just a matter of time before Logan did this. Before he decided to hunt us down. We have to fight back. We're still not ready, though. We need more allies, and thanks to Swift's efforts, we know exactly where to look. Before he was executed, the Major managed to send us a message. A soldier still loyal to the old guard brought it to me, at great risk to his life. What does it say? Well, this is Swifty we're talking about, so it's rather straightforward. You will find allies in Aurora. I still don't understand how anyone there could help us. Aurora is a dead land. There's nothing there. Or at least, that's what we've been told. It's still the only lead we have, anyway. Can we get on with the plan? I have an overwhelming urge to shoot someone. First thing, we'll need a ship. You and Ben will get hold of one, while Paige and I make sure the rest of the fleet doesn't follow. You'll need to go via the back alleys, and they'll be crawling with soldiers. Not a problem. I know my way around the place. I'll meet you at the back of the sewers. We're gonna show Logan just what traitors can do. Go on. My men are putting together the materials we'll need. It should be quite a display. Aurora is a distant place. It could be a while before we return. If there's things you need to do, now's the time. You know, Swift taught me almost everything I know about being a soldier. Let's show these bastards how it's done. We need to get to the far end of the dock, so probably best not to shoot until we have to. Come on. Uh, leave the talking to me. I have an idea. Stop! Only Royal Guard allowed! Oh, I know, but can I just say, wow, <laughs> you look so stylish, you know, with the, the helmets and everything, and me and my friend were wondering if we could join you, because, I mean, you just make us ordinary soldiers feel so inadequate. Leave! Oh, come on! Don't you have any leaflets or application forms we could take with us? If we could just get inside and get your autographs, we are huge fans. Leave, or we will be forced to terminate you. Hmm, see? Even their vocabulary is stylish. The king wants your head on a plate! Okay, and I that admit is it. What he's going I didn't to get. really have an idea. The dogs are mad! Watch out! Do you think you can... Look! 
block as much as you like. You're going down. Another bunch of tossers coming up. Be careful with those bats. How do you like that then? Your head's coming off! Let's get out of here. The docks are just around the corner. Come on, the way to the ship should be clear. Oh, I'm going to slice not. you open like a melon, you bloody traitor! Resistance is hot! Take it! Walter, what kept you? We have to hurry. They're going to be following us after all. What, what about Paige? She's staying behind. Someone needs to organize things here. Now come on! Well, it's not much, but at least it floats. That's what counts. Or, you know we could take this one, and then not drown as soon as we leave port. <laughs> Even better. I've got a good feeling about this voyage.
Ben! Are you all right? Yes. Ben's not here. No. Looks like we didn't all make it. I only hope... Well, maybe he washed up somewhere else. I'm sure that's it. Anyway, the only way forward seems to be through a rather ominous cave. Before we go any further, I'd just like to say one thing. So this is what Aurora looks like then. I was hoping it'd be a little less... cavey. Hello? Sounds like the dogs found something. Well, you never know, it might be a luxury inn. Oh, bats. He found... bats. Good work, boy. Bats are exactly what we needed right now. What do you think happened to Ben? He's a strong swimmer. Probably reached a sandy beach somewhere. Palm trees. Beautiful women. Coconut cocktails. Jammy bastard. What the hopping hops is that? It must be protecting something. Like the way out, most likely. I'll tell you one thing. We haven't got this far, haven't got this many people behind us to end up dying in some forsaken, far-off hole in the ground. Well, wherever we are, we're not the only ones who got stuck in this damn place. Not the most encouraging side in the world, is it? Still, they might have something useful on them. Why don't you check the second lot over there? I found something. A note. It speaks to us still. Darkness incarnate. We know now we can never escape it. Well, that doesn't sound good. Hey, I've got something too. One of these poor sods left a journal. Most of the pages have disintegrated, but well, you can still see plenty of weird symbols. It's mostly gobbledygook anyway. I mean, listen to this nonsense. Luminous spirits of the sands impart daybreak and gleam under a quiet moon. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? Look at that. Can you believe I did that? <laughs> does look somewhat dark, though. Oh, maybe going down isn't such a good idea. Oh, yeah? Well, why don't you lead the way if you're so tough? <sighs> All right. Here we go, then. You know how I said it looked 
somewhat dark. Well, I'd like to amend that statement. We're looking into utter, total, complete darkness. Oh, what have you got there, boy? Ha! Ah, you little genius. Good boy. Oh, no, that's better. So what do you think this place is? I have no idea. A temple of some sort? What could anyone possibly worship in here? Hmm. No, we're not going any further this way. Looks like a bridge. Is that the mechanism to raise it on the other side? Isn't that handy? One of us will have to get across to use it. There must be some other way to get there. Here we go. You should be able to make it to the other side from here. Okay, be careful now. That thing's probably pretty stiff, and we don't want to make any more noise than we have to. Quiet as stealthy mice, the adventurers forged on ahead. I know I have a tendency to be slightly paranoid, but did that sound like something friendly to you? seen that before. Stand back. Walter the Scholar will deal with this. Mm, with an increasing sense of trepidation, admittedly. Luminous spirits of the sands, inhale the restless gloaming. the feeling somebody's playing games with us? All the time. Let's just be thankful and get through this place as quickly as we can. The light you bring will die. The light inside you will die. All that you are will die. This isn't good. <laughs> the children are here to play. What are they? Do you feel the darkness swarming around? Do you feel it creep its torturous power? Keep fighting! To keep fighting. Until it eats away inside you. Tell me how it feels. Can you hear that sweet music playing in your veins? That's our heartbeat. The children put it there out of love. Do you? You're tainted. The stain will never wash out. 
the sun will never shine upon you again. Tainted, broken little toys. It's all right. We're all right. We, we just have to keep going, that's all. We're all, all right. Just hold it together. Darkness incarnate, like we're supposed to know what that means. It won't stop. It won't stop till it kills us. Wait, I think we must be close to an exit. There's a cold breeze. Can you feel it? There's that sound again. It's almost like... No, not the light, not the bloody light. Come on, work! These things are all around us, come on! Come on! Come on! get out of here. As long as we have fire, we'll be all right. We'll have to keep walking, and, and we'll get out of here, and we'll, we'll be all right. We will devour your kingdom. There will be no bodies. There will be only darkness. The children command it. Carry a funeral torch. You came here to die. Seer not tell you about us? Did she not warn you? <laughs> Quiet! It's gone. 
With the bastards dead and gone. Right, and we're getting out of here. I'm sorry. I lost my head back there, I know. I've never liked dark caves, but this... It's as if someone took my worst nightmare and made it real. But it's gone now. It's gone! And we're going to be fine. Looks like the only way is down. Good evening. You all right down there? Yes. It isn't far down. Right, here I come then. Three, two, one. Walter? Walter! You let him die. You let us take him. But you're glad, are you not? You wished him pain. You wished him undone. Unthreaded. Unthreaded. A great wave of darkness will cover your land. They will come for your king. Who would sit upon the throne of Albion? You are a fragile thing. You and your kind dissolve so easily. What happens to this piece of flesh when darkness touches its soul? But you too wish for the black void. You tire of your travels, your burdens, the cries of the helpless, the cries of your dead. You too will be swallowed. Future that awaits you. All those people you want to save. The people you want to control. They will shrivel as your friend has. They will be food for the children. They are still so hungry. So very there and beats its wings for you. Asunder. 
He bleeds light and fades away. You should see it. It's a beautiful sight. You feed us! You feed us! is ours! Darkness shall spread across the world! Oh, see. That thing... It blinded me! I can't see! It's okay, Walter. I'm here. We have to get out. Quickly! It's still out there! We need to leave! You can hear it too, can't you? It is there! I'm not mad! I can't see anything! Take me to the light, please! It's still out there! We need to leave! <laughs> you can hear it too, can't you? It is there. I'm not... Are we out? Did we get away? Yes. We're safe now. What can you see? A desert. Yeah, I can feel the heat and the sand. But whatever that thing did to me, it's like it, it sucked all the light from inside me. I still can't see anything. Just don't let go. Careful. The steps up ahead. All right. 
Okay. <coughs> I'm not sure. I don't know how far I can go. Are there no signs of civilization? There's something in the distance. It looks like an enormous statue. <coughs> How far? It's going to take us a few hours. No, stop, stop, stop. I can't do this. Of course you can. Come on. I'm... I'm too weak. You have to leave me. Listen to me. I can't see. I can barely stand. I, I, I won't just slow you down. I'll get you killed. You have to go on without me. No use. You can't save me. I'm dead weight now. Stop talking like that. We're going to make it through this. Oh, well, will you listen to me? You have to leave me behind. That thing left you weak too. Don't you think I can tell? What you have to do is too important to risk for an old wreck like me. Listen, you have to go on without me. I'm not leaving you behind, Walter. Can't do this without you. I won't leave you here. Okay. You have to. I can't. I, I can't. Walter! It's all right. It's all going to be all right. I'll come back for you. I promise. I'll get help. You'll do me proud. I know you'll do me proud. Walter. I can't see. I need help. Please. I'm blind. I can't see. Help me. You abandoned your friend to die. He's calling for you while the children spread out his heart to the sky. This world is ours. We will smother every light, every last breath. From every last mouth! Don't leave us! Don't leave us here forever! You try to run away, but you are made of sand. You are falling apart between our fingers. Just how ready you are. Fight! He would have done anything for you. Now, he screams alone. He curses you. Not even in death will he forgive you. Your strength is ebbing. We can feel it. My brigade had been pinned down by the enemy. Until there was just me and two other men left. We retreated into a cave. But they never came after us. They just blew the entrance. 
sealed us in. We spent three days in that cave. No light, no food. Just three men waiting to die in the dark. The light in your eyes offends us. Let it go out! Are you blind? Are you blind yet? <laughs> There's nothing left. You're gone. All gone. She's still alive. The other can't be far away. Taking a nap in the sun? Typical royalty. You had me worried there for a while. Walter? Don't worry. We'll find him. You just sit tight, Princess. Can you help them? The young one will be fine. She is strong. We need to tend to the older one. At once. Hang in there, Walter. Hey, boy. You are awake. Good. My name is Kaylin, and you are in the city of Aurora. I have much to tell you. Walter? How is he? He is fortunate to be alive, but we have seen his condition before. We may be able to help him. Is there another of my friends here? I thought I saw... in the desert. A devilishly handsome soldier by the name of Ben Finn? Not dead yet, my friend. Please, come with me. Don't worry, it's a, it's a tough old night. He'll pull through. It's so good to see you. When I was fished out of the local port and Walter and you weren't there, well, I thought it was all over. Then I realized I was being an ass, and I worked my charms to get a search party out for you. Not that Kaylin here needed much persuading. We are accustomed to misfortune. Now it is time you saw our city. Welcome to Aurora, the city of nightmares. The crawler did this. The being you fought in the desert caves. It appeared five years ago, bringing darkness and death. The few of us who still live have known nothing but fear since. We never know when it will come. And we cannot hope to defeat the creature and its spawn without an army. Even with someone like you by our side, Ben Finn speaks most highly of you. But you are not the first savior to come here. Please, walk down to our streets. See for yourself. Then we may talk more. Go ahead. I've seen enough already. I'll check up on Walter. You are the one who survived the desert night. Yes. We have not had much fortune with outsiders. 
But as you can see, fortune deserted us long ago. You have come to a cursed land. What are you doing here? Everybody else seems to be hiding. I am honoring the dead. My wife and my child. And I stand here because I do not fear joining them. I'm sorry. You may read their memorials if you wish. There are many elsewhere. On statues, doorways. Wherever a memory will allow itself to live on. My wife and my daughter. You were taken from me by that which dwells in darkness. And darkness is all that is left in my life. I am thankful only that you knew little of the horror that has taken over our city since then. Reina and Balen, you are in my thoughts always. I will be with you again soon. I wish to leave a record of my survival in testament to those who did not. Last night, the crawler descended upon Aurora again. We believed ourselves to be ready. We believed we would be safe when it returned. No one is truly safe anymore. I will try to honor you always, Father. I will do as you taught me. I will carry myself with the strength you gave. Now you know what we have suffered. But as I said before, you are not the first outsider to come here. Who was the other? His name was Logan. The King of Albion. Seems your big brother's been keeping secrets. He used to go on expeditions all the time, remember? Until about four years ago. He too faced the crawler. He saw all his soldiers killed by the darkness and nearly died himself. But he survived thanks to our care. He left with a promise that he would return with an army and save us from the crawler. We never saw him again. King Logan did not cause this, but he did nothing to stop it. Now I ask that you do what he would not. Ben Finn has told us of your quest, of your revolution. There are not many warriors left among us, but we have ships, and we are willing to fight beside you. Not because your brother wronged us, nor because we thirst for revenge, but because we want protection. We require aid if we are to survive. That is the promise you must make. Help us to rebuild Aurora and allow it to become a true part of your kingdom. Not a colony, not a thing to be used, but a place with a voice in your court. Will you make this promise? I promise. Then let us go to war. You have survived a terrible ordeal, but you will be the stronger for it. With Kaelin and the Auroran people on your side, you are finally ready to face your brother. It is time for you and Walter to gather your allies and take Bowerstone Castle. How is he? 
Is he gonna make it? I do not know. The darkness is deep within him. Few ever wake. But he's improving. I mean, you're doing your thing and he's getting better, right? I do not wish to give you false hope. Perhaps it would be better if we allowed him to rest. Don't worry, he's a, he's a tough old nut. He'll pull through. You're not burying me just yet. See? I told you! Yes. Shame my first sight had to be your ugly mug. I'm sorry I left you, Walter. You did all you could. And don't think I don't know it. I told you you'd make me proud. Well, we didn't exactly find the army we were hoping for. And I feel about a hundred years older than when we left, but we're finally ready. You've surpassed every hope I had for you. You're the queen Albion needs. So come on. It's time to gather your generals and prepare for battle. You know, maybe I'll take a little nap first. All right, I've got it. I take a small group of soldiers down this route and blow up the West Barracks. It will draw their attention and open up the main route. How's that better than my idea? We will live longer than a few seconds. Oh, well, now you're just picking holes. Give it up, boy. What I want to know is what my men need to do. That's for the future Queen to decide. Paige knows the city best. We'll follow her plan. Fine. I only put mine forward to annoy her anyway. I see you've really matured on your travels. If you'll look at the map, we can go through the details. My ships will take you to the beach here. We can expect heavy mortar fire, but most of Logan's soldiers will be busy dealing with Paige and her men. I want to be in the thick of the smoke, and the fire, and the glory. If Paige takes the west route, it's only fair I take the east. Which leaves the center to us. <laughs> Less chance of getting lost. Then, we're agreed. Are you sure you're up to this, Walter? Oh, don't worry about me. I may feel old and tired. But the day hasn't come yet when I can't charge into a good old-fashioned fight. Let the battle for Albion begin! Our people are getting torn to shreds out there. They need our help! We need to take care of that mortar. We've already lost one ship. Kaylin's good. Well done, soldier. You plugged her good. Let's go. Use one of those mortars. The Aurora ship should be able to move in closer. How about you blow up this one? Do your stuff. How are you feeling, Walter? Yes! Stop you asking wounded me. Now let's go! More guards! We're taking fire! What 
Watch out! Is this not the grandest time you've ever had? <laughs> Sabine, you almost blew us up. You saw a glorious beacon of freedom burning in the night for all the... No, no, no. What is it, Boulder? Oh, bloody hell. Move, move! It'll take more than a grenade to finish off that old sword. Meanwhile, let's do what he says and get moving, shall we? I think your weapon might be bent. Oh no, wait! That's you! That's what you get for the... Still nothing but men. Look, it's Paige. Well, that girl knows how to handle herself. Come on, we're not far from the castle now. We'll meet up with her there. Where are I'm you? I'm no hob or common soldier. I'm the best there is. Paige! You are going oh, down. that bloody time! My men are taking care of the East Barracks, but I couldn't leave you out here alone. That deserves a round of applause. Good shooting!
They don't stand a chance against you. Keep it up. Elite soldiers, my ass. Have that. <laughs> Stay alert. There'll be more coming. We have to find a way past this gate. Always with the damn gates! What we need are explosives. But I used mine up on the way here. If only we knew some sort of tiny, crazy old man who enjoyed blowing things up. Ha <laughs> ha! Did you see that border? That the whole city bow to our thunder? Hang on. How did you get to the other side in the first place? Dwellers have their ways, my boy. Is there anyone left to kill? There will be soon. More troops are on the way. Kalian's fleet got a fair few, but not all. We'll hold them off. Come on, Boulder, there's more fighting to be done. Good luck in there. Hope the crown fits. Let's finish this for good, while I can still stand up on my own. Shall we knock? No. Let's surprise him. So, this is how it ends. The old fool and the child who ran away. You finally become the woman I always wanted you to be. She's a lot more than that, and now she's ready to take your place. Perhaps the time has come for someone else to lead Albion. You were never a leader, just another tyrant. Did it ever occur to you that I may have had good reason to be? We're not interested in your reasons. Cower behind ignorance if you will, but my sister deserves to know the truth. Save it for the trial, Logan. You can beg for your life then. Queen of Albion! There she is! The Queen of Albion! You've made it. Just like I always knew you would. It doesn't get any easier though. You have a country to run now. And with Jasper busy in the Sanctuary, you'll need a new personal aid. Someone who can keep you organized. Let me introduce you to... Hobson. Hobson's the name, Your Majesty. May I say what an extraordinary honor it is to serve you. I have a vast wealth of experience, I assure you, though I have yet to experience vast wealth. <laughs> That, Your Majesty, is an example of the sense of humor which will no doubt make our time together such a delight. No doubt. Well, I'll leave you two to get better acquainted. I should begin preparations for the trial. The trial, of course. The very first item on today's agenda. Among my other qualities, I am well versed in toadying, public relations, and time management. And I heartily believe the key to being a successful queen is following a well-scheduled royal agenda. If you will permit me, here are today's appointments.
I'm sure you will do a marvellous job presiding over your brother's trial, which, as I said, will be your very first royal duty. Your subjects await in the throne room for what is sure to be an historic occasion, Your Majesty. <laughs>